views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. This is an initiative of Insight for New Housing's Executive Director Greg Bell in conjunction with BronxNet Public Access Television's channels 67, 68, 69, 70, and Verizon Fios channel 33, 34, 35, and 36. Hello everyone, I'm Aria Feliciano. I'm a graphic designer for BronxNet and I'm currently recording from quarantine from my home. This is a special informative and educational edition of the Greg Bell Community Calendar, brought to you by BronxNet Television. Due to COVID-19, the coronavirus, we would like to take this Community Calendar Special Edition to offer you tips and public health awareness information that can help you stay safe. On September 3rd, there'll be three events. First event. NYC Department of Health and Mental Hygiene's Center for Health Equity presents Virtual Baby Cafe in Brownsville. Join this virtual support group for breastfeeding individuals. Trained professionals provide practical breastfeeding support, including assistance with latching and milk supply. We address questions related to your new and or growing family and all aspects of breastfeeding. This event starts at 11 a.m. in Spanish and 1 p.m. in English. Registration is required. For more information and to request accommodation, please call 646-682-3416. Once again, that's 646-682-3416. Or you can email pthejesus at health.nyc.gov. Once again, that email is pthejesus at health.nyc.gov. Gov. Second event on September 3rd, RSS Riverdale Senior Services presents Adjusting to Change, led by Paul Heron. This ongoing group gives members the opportunity to discuss any myriad of changes, large or small, pleasant or not, that accompany one's graduation into senior life, as well as the impact of COVID-19 on our lives. Members are encouraged to discuss whatever is on their minds and to share their experiences past and present with the group. This event starts at 10 a.m. For more information, email info at rssny.org. Once again, that is info at rssny.org. Or you can visit rssny.org. Once again, the website is rssny.org. Third event on September 3rd. The NYC Department of Health and Mental Hygiene's Center for Health Equity presents Virtual Baby Cafe, Brownsville. Join this virtual support group for breastfeeding individuals. Trained professionals provide practical breastfeeding support, including assistance with latching and milk supply. We address questions related to your new and or growing family and all aspects of breastfeeding. This event starts at 6.30 p.m. Registration is required. For more information and to request accommodation, please call 646-682-3416. Once again, that's 646-682-3416. Or you can email pthejesus at health.nyc.gov. Once again, that is pthejesus at health.nyc.gov. On September 4th, the RSS Riverdale Senior Services presents Feldenkrais, weekly virtual meeting. Feldenkrais focuses on using body awareness to alleviate chronic pain. Feldenkrais exercises consist of small, comfortable movements and are done in an easy and relaxed way. RSS is proud to present a free 10-week course on the Feldenkrais method. This event starts at 11 a.m. For more information, please email info at rssny.org. Once again, that is info at rssny.org. Or you can visit rssny.org. Once again, the website is rssny.org. On September 6th, there will be two events. 
first event, Open Street Sundays on Johnson Avenue, free. Join us to celebrate Riverdale. This innovative and timely New York City program was brought to the community due to the hard work of community members, local businesses, KRVC, Community Board 8, and our dedicated local elected officials. We are looking forward to spending Sundays serving, enriching, and building our special community. Join us to celebrate Riverdale. From 12 p.m. to 9 p.m., there will be live music, fine art exhibits, and street performers. This event takes place at Johnson Avenue between 235th and 236th Streets. The area will be closed to traffic and restaurants will be open for outdoor, socially distanced seating. Please wear a face mask for the safety of others. For more information, please visit krvcdc.org. Once again, that website is krvcdc.org. And the second event on September 6th, Wave Hill presents Virtual Meditation in the Garden. Join the mindful outdoor guide Cindy Olson or Dasha healer Sarah Hart for the healing practice of sit-spot nature meditation. Take a few deep breaths together, find inner calm, and ground yourself in nature as you honor the beauty and metaphors of the garden, or whatever space you're in. This experience is open to all who wish to learn simple meditation activities, nature lovers, and anyone with an ongoing practice. This event starts at 9.30 a.m. For more information, please visit wavehill.org. Once again, that is wavehill.org. Or you can call 718-549-3200. Once again, that's 718-549-3200. On September 8th, there will be three events. The first event. RSS Riverdale Senior Services presents Medical Cannabis 101 for Seniors, an informative online session. Join LeafWell to learn how medical cannabis and its therapeutic benefits can be helpful for seniors. Learn about how cannabis works with our bodies, why it can be effective for a vast range of ailments, different types of cannabis products that are available, and more. LeafWell is a national telemedicine platform that connects patients to independently licensed physicians in their state. LeafWell's team believes in the medicinal value of cannabis to help treat a wide range of conditions and symptoms. A Q&A with a physician will follow the presentation. This event starts at 6 p.m. For more information, you can send an email to info at rssny.org. Once again, the email is info at rssny.org. Or you can visit the website, rssny.org. Once again, the website is rssny.org. Second event on September 8th. The Museum of Jewish Heritage presents Bess Meyerson, the one and only Jewish Miss America. Film and discussion via Zoom. In September 1945, Bess Meyerson, Miss New York City, made history at the most famous beauty pageant in the world by becoming the first and only Jewish Miss America. This one hour documentary follows Bess's journey from her improbable entrance in her local pageant through her heartbreak when sponsors withdrew their support and restricted tour stops closed their doors on Jews. Join us for a discussion of the film with its director, David Aaron, and with screenwriter and actress Barra Grant, who is Bess's daughter. This event starts at 7 p.m. and is free and open to the public. For more information, please visit mjhnyc.org. Once again, that's mjhnyc.org. Or you can call 646-437-4202. Once again, that's 646-437-4202. And the third event on September 8th. RSS Riverdale Senior Services presents Balance and Strength with Mike Sherry online. Mike Sherry's Balance and Strength class is back. His exercises help to strengthen and tone the body and mind. Classes are free to anyone 60 plus. This event starts at 1 p.m. Registration is required. For more information, you can send an email to info 
at rssny.org. Once again, that's info at rssny.org. Or you can visit the website, rssny.org. Once again, the website is rssny.org. On September 9th, there will be four events. The first event, the Bronx Museum of the Arts presents Sanford Biggers, Code Switch, the first survey of quilt-based works by the New York-based interdisciplinary artists. This solo show will be on view from September 9, 2020 through January 24, 2021, and will feature over 60 quilt-based works by the artist that seamlessly weaves American history into a broader context of global traditions and styles, Sanford Biggers. Biggers has been developing a singular body of work that is deeply informed by African American history and traditions and sustains a rich dialogue with contemporary art on a national and international level. This exhibition will also include mixed media paintings and sculptures. For more information, please go to bronxmuseum.org. Once again, that's bronxmuseum.org. Second event on September 9th. The New York Botanical Garden presents Fundamentals of Gardens online. Explore the basic principles underlying successful environmentally friendly gardening, including the structure and physiological processes of plants and the relationships to the settings in which they grow. Students learn not only what to do, but why. Topics include soils and their improvement, seed sowing, vegetative propagation, planting, pruning, disease and pest control, and more. This event starts at 9.30 a.m. For more information, please go to nybg.org. Once again, that's nybg.org. Or you can call 718-817-8700. Once again, that's 718-817-8700. Third event on September 9th. Have a great meal with your friends at RSS Riverdale Senior Services. Join us for a delicious breakfast at 9 a.m. the second and fourth Wednesday of each month. Members enjoy a healthy meal and good company as a great start to the day. Lunch is served daily at noon. We ask for a voluntary $2 donation for lunch, but no senior will ever be denied a meal. Meals are a wonderful way to come together at RSS. Join us for great food, interesting conversation, and a relaxed and happy atmosphere in our large windowed dining room. Breakfast at 9 a.m. and lunch at noon. Riverdale Senior Services is located at 2600 Netherland Avenue, Bronx, New York. For more information, please visit rssny.org. Once again, that's rssny.org. Or you can call 718-884-5900. Once again, that number is 718-884-5900. And the fourth event on September 9th, live webinar series, Understanding the Impact of Trauma on Holocaust Survivors Facing the End of Life, Examining the Past to Improve Present Care. The goal of this webinar is to educate professionals who work with Holocaust survivors and other trauma survivors to recognize and respond to post-traumatic stress symptoms they may exhibit. Participants will become better informed about delivery of person-centered, trauma-informed care at the end of life. This event runs from 1.30 to 4.30 p.m. For more information, please visit mjhspalliativeinstitute.org. Once again, that's mjhspalliativeinstitute.org. Or you can call 212-649-5500. Once again, that's 212-649-5500. All right, and this concludes this edition of the Speaking Community Calendar. The following public service announcements are available to the public all year long. Here's something to look into. Riverdale Senior Services, in partnerships with Kinneret Bay School, the Horace Mann School, and Riverdale Community Center presents RSS Connecting Generations. The RSS community vision is to promote positive intergenerational relationships and eliminate negative stereotypes. 
The future of aging can only be enhanced if we recognize that our success and the national interest depend on connecting generations for good. RSS members have enriched the lives of the students by sharing their expertise and life experience. Riverdale Senior Services is located at 2600 Netherland Avenue, Bronx, New York. To learn more about RSS intergenerational programs, please email info at rssny.org. Once again, the email is info at rssny.org. Or you can call 718-884-5900. Once again, that's 718-884-5900. Hello, New Yorkers. The NYC Commission on Human Rights wants to remind you that discrimination and harassment due to COVID-19 is illegal in New York City. The commission recorded over 350 reports of discrimination or harassment related to COVID-19. Following this sharp increase in reports, the commission formally launched the COVID-19 response team. The COVID-19 response team tracks and responds to incidents connected to the pandemic by conducting emergency interventions, providing referrals to services, informing people of their rights, and commencing investigations. Please contact the NYC Commission on Human Rights if you or someone you know has faced discrimination or harassment due to COVID-19. They do not ask for immigration status. Commission staff speak over 30 languages. To report discrimination or harassment, call 311 and say human rights, or you can call 212 416-0197. Once again, that's 212-416-0197. You can also visit nyc.gov forward slash human rights. Once again, that website is nyc.gov forward slash human rights. Hey, Bronx residents, don't forget the 2020 census. Door-to-door -door visits begin nationwide for the 2020 census as census takers follow up with about 56 million households nationwide. This week, the U.S. Census Bureau began following up with households nationwide that have not yet responded to the 2020 census. Census takers can be easily identified by their valid government photo ID badges. The Census Bureau will follow up with some households by phone in order to minimize the need to send census takers out to households in person. Households can respond online or by phone in English or 12 other languages. For more information, please go to 2020census.gov. Once again, that is 2020census.gov. Or you can call for free 1-800-991-2520. Once again, that's 1-800-991-2520. Hey Bronxites, need something new to read? Why not check out what NYPL has to offer? The New York Public Library has released a free list of the top 10 most checked out eBooks since they closed to help combat COVID-19. Readers have been able to access these 10 books and over 300,000 others through the NYPL service Simply Ease. And specifically for the Bronx, NYPL has done a community oral history project that is an important historical record that provides personal accounts of the rich history of the neighborhoods across the three boroughs we have branches in, the Bronx, Manhattan, and Staten Island. These are interviews done with many residents of these neighborhoods. For example, one is titled Voices from East of Bronx Park which focuses on the communities of Allerton, Van Ness, Pelham Parkway, and Morris Park. For access or more information on service offerings, you should sign up for NYPL Connect at nypl.org forward slash NYPL Connect. Once again, that website's nypl.org forward slash NYPL Connect. Hey, folks of the blind and visually impaired community, I have a message for you. Visions Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired is very happy to be restarting its in-home vision rehabilitation therapy and community mobility training. Free vision rehabilitation training is offered by Visions certified professional staff throughout NYC, Long Island, Westchester County, and the Lower Hudson Valley. If you or a loved one is experiencing legal blindness, 
or you're not sure if your severe vision loss qualifies for services, please contact Visions to learn more about our free services and ask questions. Call 212-625-1616 and ask for intake. Once again, that telephone number is 212-625-1616. Or you can email crivera at visionsvcb.org. Once again, that email is crivera at visionsvcb.org. To learn more about how Visions is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, including the steps we are taking to ensure our services continue to run efficiently and safely, please go to visionsvcb.org. Once again, that website is visionsvcb.org. Bronx Workforce One Career Center Virtual Connection. Workforce One helps New Yorkers prepare for and connect to jobs across New York City's five boroughs in every sector of the economy. Through the Virtual Workforce One Career Center system, you can connect via web or phone within one to two business days to one-on-one -on -one help from professionals who can help you identify jobs that are fit for your experience and skills, prepare for interviews, access free training, and much more. All of the services are no cost and do not require in-person visits. For more information, please go to nyc.gov forward slash SBS. Once again, that is nyc.gov forward slash SBS. Or you can call 311. Hey, Bronxites! Free food is available to all New Yorkers in need. If you are struggling for food during the coronavirus, you can find a program and service that can help you make ends meet, find ways to cope, and support others during COVID-19. Emergency food sites can help you get food quickly. The food benefit programs can help you buy groceries. Food delivery is available if you can't go outside, have no one who can help you get food, and can't afford delivery. Everyone can pick up three free meals Monday through Friday at locations across the city. You don't need to register or show any ID or documents. For more information, please visit nyc.gov. Once again, that is nyc.gov. Or you can call 311. Hey, Bronxites! Get tested for COVID-19 in your community. Community testing sites operated by NYC Health Plus Hospitals offers free and convenient testing on a walk-in basis with no appointment necessary. Please seek testing at a community testing site if you have COVID-19 symptoms such as cough, fever, shortness of breath, loss of appetite or smell, regardless of age, chronic conditions, or occupation. Come in close contact with a confirmed COVID-19 patient regardless of symptoms or work in a congregate residential setting, such as a nursing home, shelter, or adult care facility, regardless of your symptoms. Here are some medical facilities where you can go for coronavirus testing. Gotham Health, Morsania, located at 1225 Girard Avenue. Hours, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Saturday, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. No appointment necessary. North Central Bronx Hospital, located at 3424 Coastal Avenue. Hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. through 4 p.m. No appointment necessary. One Medical Bronx, located at Harlem River Lot, Lot J, at the Yankee Stadium. Hours, daily, 9 a.m. through 6 p.m. By appointment only, call 888-663-6331. For a full list of community COVID-19 testing sites in your community, please call 311. Hey, New Yorkers, you can help prevent the spread of any virus, including the coronavirus. Here's what you need to know about the coronavirus. You can prevent the spread of any virus by staying home if you feel sick, covering your sneezes and coughs with your sleeve, not your hands, and washing your hands often with soap and warm water. If you feel flu-like symptoms, such as fever, cough, and shortness of breath, and you recently traveled to an area affected by coronavirus, or have been in close contact with somebody who has, go to your doctor. 
If you have symptoms but not travel history, stay home and call your doctor. If you need connection to a medical professional, call 311. If you're feeling well, no need to wear a face mask. And don't worry if somebody else does. People wear masks for many reasons. Be respectful. For updates and other helpful information, please go to nyc.gov forward slash health forward slash coronavirus. Once again, that is nyc.gov forward slash health forward slash coronavirus. Emergency HB Actions. The Neighborhood Association for Intercultural Affairs presents Free Housing Legal Services and Eviction Prevention Program. The primary focus is geared towards providing legal eviction prevention services to families, individuals who are working, those receiving public assistance, or people that meet the low income eligibility and are at risk of losing their homes. NICA Homelessness Prevention Law Project is funded by the Department of Human Resources. If you need to file a case against your landlord for repairs, HB Action, you can call Housing Court Answers at 212-962-4795. The Housing Court Answers hotline is now set up to connect you with legal service providers in appropriate cases. All initial HP referrals will be made by HCA. Once again, the Housing Court Answers hotline is 212-962-4695. For more information, please go to nicany.org. Once again, that website is naicany.org. Or you could call 718-538-3344. Hey, people within the disability community. NYC COVID-19 Resources for People with Disabilities. The following information has been gathered specifically to inform people with disabilities on the resources available to the population during NYC's response to the COVID-19 outbreak. For the most up-to-date information on prevention and treatment practices of COVID-19 in multiple languages, please visit nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus. Once again, that's nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus. For food delivery services for people with disabilities in higher risk for COVID-19 transmission, as well as those unable to get out of their homes, please call the Mayor's Office for People with Disabilities at 212-788-2830. Once again, that's 212-788-2830. 788-2830 or you can call the video phone at 646-396-5830 once again that's 646-396-5830 for the video phone I'd like to thank all my speaking community calendar viewers and listeners for tuning into the speaking community calendar now, to submit your community event, please go to bronxnet.org slash yourbronx. Once again, it's bronxnet.org slash yourbronx. The Greg Bell Community Calendar is brought to you by BronxNet Public Access Television, Channel 67, 68, 69, and 70, along with... Verizon BIOS Channel 33, 34, 35, and 36.